So now we're going to suction our patient's trach. So first I want to orient you to the suction machine for the sim labs. So this is the suction canister. So to turn it on, right behind it, which I know you can't see very well for the video, but there's a switch that says vacuum switch on off. So you will turn it to on and you can hear it come on, obviously. This is your suction regulator. For everyday practice, you'll use the regular setting, but for the sim lab, you will use the full setting. So I'm gonna turn it to full up top. One of the quirks about the sim lab is to be able to get adequate suction power, you're going to have to give it some time. So my suction tubing, if I put my thumb on it, you see how pressure will build up slowly. So when you go to suction on these mannequins, you have to give it hold pressure for a little while to give it time to build up some suction. So for the demonstration, I'm going to turn all this loud noise off. And we'll demo how to suction a trach. So this is the package that you need, a suction catheter package. It's going to come with sterile gloves and the suction catheter itself. You will need to have all of the suction set up with the canister and the tubing. Have your tubing close to you. So I'm going to open this again away from me. And this one has the gloves on the bottom side, so I just flipped it over. Now they were kind of stuck together, so I touched that in. So it is non-sterile, so I can't touch that. This is the suction catheter itself. So I'm going to loop this up in my dominant hand. Now, if you want to loop it around your fingers, if you want to gather it up, you can do it any which way you want to. This is just how I, my practice is. This is your rinse, your saline rinse bucket. So now I'm ready to contaminate my non-dominant hand. So I have my rinse bucket ready. I still have my saline left over from trach care. If you haven't already performed trach care, then you'll need to get a saline bucket ready. And I put that on really tight. There we go. So now with my contaminated hand, I'm going to grab my suction tubing and hook it together. Now the one inch border for sterile technique applies. So now I'm going to control the suction with this hand. So my one inch border has now extended onto my suction tubing. So I cannot go past where I'm at. So my patient's ready to be suctioned. So I will remove the oxygen tubing. So let me loosen up the collar a little bit or I can unsnap it. I want it close by, I don't want it far away. So as I go down to suction, my thumb is up. I do not put my thumb down, that's how you apply suction. So thumbs up on the way down. And insert my catheter. And I'm gonna go down until my patient starts giving me a nice, really good cough or I feel resistance. Once I feel resistance, I'm gonna pull back just maybe a half of an inch and apply suction and start to pull out in this manner. Once I have taken my catheter out, I want to give my patient back their oxygen. Now the technique I demonstrated was a continuous suction I'll show you how to do intermittent, but let's say your suction catheter has a lot of secretion in it, so I would apply suction, and this is where my rinse bucket comes in. I can rinse out the catheter. So to do intermittent suction, again, I'll remove the oxygen, 
Thumbs up on the way down, no suction. Go until I feel resistance or my patient starts coughing really good for me. Pull back, apply suction, let go, let go, let go. And again, give the oxygen back. You definitely want to make sure while you're doing this that when you're pulling, I'm gonna show you kind of the wrong way here. When you put your catheter down, when you pull out, don't just do it like this because look what happens. Then you've broken sterile technique. So make sure as you come out of the trait that you are coming back and making sure you have control of this catheter at all times. When we're done, I give them their oxygen back. This catheter is contaminated and very dirty. So I want to put it all together in my gloves to throw away. All done.